Why do you see life the way you see life? You have been scripted. <laughs> what should you know about script? What are the facts about script? What script are you acting right now? And how can you rewrite your own script and take charge of your life? Stay tuned. Hello Impact Maker, welcome to another broadcast of Life Transitions Today, where I share tips and tactics to help you manage the in-betweens of life. Scripts are written works of art aimed at communicating a particular message or agenda to an audience. There are different types of scripts, especially when it comes to genres of movies. Genre talks about the setting, the character, the mood, the plot, the tone, and the theme of the particular movie that you are considering. It's important we understand the different genres so that we can have an idea of why we do things the way we do them. Action genres talk about taking risk. For some people, life is an adventure. It's about pursuing something. They are always pursuing. I don't know if you've had people who are always having one certification after another. They have like a three, four master's program. They do like six, five uh, PhD programs. For them, it's all about adventure. They are always pursuing something. <laughs> they never get tired of pursuing because they've been scripted to see life as an adventure. For some other people, life is a comedy. The first thing that comes to their mind in anything is the humor part of whatever it is they're doing. For some other people, life is crime. Okay, it's all about who is right or who is wrong. It's all about fighting for justice. Some people can't just sit down <laughs> and see things go wrong somewhere or see someone um, offend and not be punished for their offense. They just they feel like it is their responsibility to punish every form of offense so to them life is about crime and justice for some other people life is a drama for such people they thrive where there is conflict they are happy they feel alive they feel like yes i am living when there is a conflict somewhere so usually even when there is no trouble they create the trouble because for them life is drama <laughs> For some other people, life is the fantasy. For this kind of people, most times, it is because they are deprived of some things growing up. And so, now that they have the opportunity, they want to fantasize about the things that they did not have probably while growing up. So they are always seeing things and always imagining that something can be better, there's something good, something better out there. For some other people, life is history, it's about the past. Most times when people grow up maybe with their grannies or they grew up in a traditional environment, at times they are always talking about, uh, you know, traditional means of doing things. I don't know if you're in a relationship with someone and they're always talking about, oh, this is how we do it in my village, this is how we do it. And then you're wondering, you know, there's this cultural misfit somehow because the person is always trying to see things from how it was done sometime in the past, for some other people, life is horror, it's terrifying. They've had some terrifying experiences in their lives and they're always talking about those things. For some other people, life is romance, it's about intimacy. They always want intimacy. For some other people, life is science and fiction, <laughs> you know, they're always gadget oriented. Why is it important that we understand the place of scripting and the kind of the characters we play in life. For every script, there is a motive behind it. You may not understand the motive as the consumer, but somehow you are being scripted to see life in a particular way, to think in a particular way, to accept some things from some people as normal. It's all scripted. How nations interact with one another, the wars, the fight, and all of that, they are scripts written by some people. And I tell you, there are some hidden motives, agendas, messages behind every of those scriptings. For every message you see on the media, 
there is an agenda somebody is trying to pass across there is an agenda somebody is trying to achieve so we cannot play neutral <laughs> so it's either you are acting on someone's script or you are writing your own script and acting your own script now another thing about script is that they are subliminal they're sublime you will not even know that something is happening you just see that somehow you are beginning to like some things you probably don't like before you are beginning to think in a particular way you probably are not thinking before you are beginning to see life in a particular way you probably are not seeing before that is one interesting thing about scripting is subliminal another thing is i've had people talk about temperament but i tell you that scripting can be as powerful if not stronger than temperament and how do i mean for example, we say cholerics are go-getters. If cholerics are go-getters, then all cholerics should be successful. <laughs> if sanguines are talkers, then all sanguines should be successful at talking or at least should exhibit some level of dexterity when it talks to talking. Okay, if all, uh, if all melancholies are creatives, then we should have a lot of creative melancholy people out there. But somehow, some people have scripts that are stronger in the previous episode i shared about stories and how stories can define our expectations and experiences in life what scripts do is that they they preempt our natural responses to events and things they preempt the kind of character that we play in this movie called life the question then is if scripts are this powerful how come many people do not write their own scripts it's simple they don't know that life is about writing your script when you know that you should write your own script then you should do something about it. So i'm going to share with you now three tips on how to rewrite your own script scripting is about building something and i'm going to be talking about building what things must you build number one idea building you have to build your own idea what kind of person or what kind of movie do you want to see yourself acting in life if your life is going to be played out what kind of genre do you think it should and of course it doesn't have to be a genre also there are also sub genres in different movies so what kind of genre or sub genre should you have let's say for example the movie game of thrones game of thrones is basically historical it's epic talking about an history of something that has happened but we also have some sub genres for example the character Jon snow <laughs> we see Jon snow is this adventurous person it's a mixture of action and adventure always taking risk and always pursuing some so uh, there could be sub genres but what kind of movie is your life going to be about you need to be able to determine that yourself people shouldn't determine that for you that is your responsibility so you should have an idea build the idea of the kind of person you want to be let it be that when people are watching the movie of your life these are the things that you want them to see about you the second thing you want to look at is character building what are the characters that are involved in your movie who are the people that will act out the idea that you have in your mind so what characters what roles will they play in your life so what are the characters that you need in defining your movie for example for every movie you need actors you need cameramen you need producers who are those characters that are that you will be bringing on this team to help you to be able to achieve the idea that you have in your mind so you need to build your characters what is going to be the lead role so what is the lead role that you for example are going to play in this game called life <laughs> you know and what characters would you need what kind of support team would you need to be able to achieve that role and the last thing you want to build is 
world building. When we talk about world building, it's about, like I said, the genre, the setting, the props, the movies. What kind of world is your movie or your script going to play in? Is it going to play in a traditional world or a civilized world? Is it going to play in a scientific fiction world or is it going to play in a modest world? Is it going to play in a first world or is it going to play in a third world? You should be able to define all of those characters and then build the world that you want your script to be able to play. As a person, you should be able to determine whether you want to play as a first world nation person or a third world nation person. What kind of business are you building? Is it a first world nation business or a third world nation business? What kind of family are you building? Is it a first world family or a third world family? So when you have an idea of what you want to build and the character and the world in which that lives, then, and it helps you to begin to consciously live that kind of life that you have always seen yourself living. And I hope this tips help today. So today I've talked about script, different kinds of of script and um, facts, three things you should know about script and how you can rewrite your own script to empower yourself, gain awareness and control of your life. I hope these tips help today. To meet again in the next episode, keep winning, keep grinding and keep bringing in the laurels. I believe in you.